kind of uh, training camp did you think you had personally? Uh, I thought it was cool. Like, just, just out here having fun, you know, doing what I love to do. So um, I, I enjoyed myself uh, yeah, a lot. Like Dave said you were, you know, always around the ball. It seemed like you were making a lot of plays on the ball. Like, did you feel like you had one of your better training camps? Uh, I felt like I had the most fun that I had in a while. Um, you know, just going back, playing football like I was playing Pop Warner. So I would say it made me feel like, you know, a kid again, being out there playing, running around uh, with the guys and just doing what I love to do. Anything of that degree to do with kind of embracing the role as a number one corner un undisputedly for the first time? Uh, no, I think it has more to with uh, just me, you know, being through what I've been through, um, understanding myself, uh, overcoming some things. And just honing back into you know myself and, and learning about myself you know over these past couple of years, um, going through um, life. So I think that's what I take credit to. One of the things you've been through is a release from the Tennessee Titans. Yeah. What are your thoughts on playing them here week one? Uh, it's gonna be cool. I get to see a couple of my my guys, Kevin Byard, uh, Monty Hooker, Derrick Henry. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Oh, and Robert Woods. So you know, that's what I'm most excited about seeing some familiar faces, a couple of the coaches that I that I know builds some relationships uh, with. So uh, it's just going to be fun, you know, seeing them, chopping it up with them. Um, probably get a little jersey after the game or two. So, you know, that's going to be nice. Any hard feelings towards that organization? No, nah, not at all. I mean, that's the organization that drafted me. So I'm, you know, forever thankful and grateful, you know, for the opportunity that they gave me. And, you know, at the end of the day, it just didn't pan out the way they wanted and I wanted it. And, you know, it's how life goes. You know, God gives you second chances to open another door when one closes. And I'm here and I'm appreciative. What's the key to slowing down Derrick Henry? <sighs> I mean, he gonna do what he do. It was it's crazy. I was uh, back in the day. It was something about a basketball player. It was like, yeah, LeBron James is gonna be LeBron James. You may be able to cool him off for like one, two, three, you know, quarters, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, he's still gonna get his points, get his, get whatever he can get. So at the end of the day, he's just putting eleven hats to the ball and just trying to limit, limit him as much as possible. But I mean, Derrick Henry, that's the top back in the league. So just go out there and play our keys and do what we know how to do and run to the ball. And being his teammate, is he the one of one of those kind of backs that you feel like as the game progresses, he grows stronger with it? Uh, I feel like he can get you in the first quarter or the fourth quarter. I mean, he's the same back um, at the end of the day. Uh, from the start of the game to the end of the game, that's what um, playing with him and seeing seeing him play. Um, from last year, watching him through a couple of games that he had, I mean, first couple of games he led rushing for once he got hurt, like I think four more weeks. And that just attests to the type of player he is and what he what he's able to do. When you go out there, I mean, the receivers you're going to face aren't going to be the same guys you face down here, are they? No, I mean, uh, uh, the only one, the couple ones that I had, uh, Cody Hollister and uh, Westbrook. Um, I, I played against them a couple times during practice. But other than that, um, those are going to be all familiar, uh, different faces, I mean. I mean, you faced Fuller before this last year. Say it again. Did you face Fuller last year out in L.A.? Will Fuller? Robert. Oh, Robert Woods. Robert Woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so what's crazy is me, uh, me and Robert went to the same high school. Then we, so I, I've been knowing him, played against him my rookie year in the league, played against him last year when he came down here with, uh, with the Rams when they came down here. So, um, yeah, I'm not familiar with him, but I played against him a couple of times. Dory, what about this defense suits you? I mean, it seems like you said you're having more fun. It seems like you're around the ball all the time. Is it just that man-to-man -man straight coverage is kind of your game? Uh, Just – Honing into you know whatever they're asking me to do, um, just trusting in, in myself, believing in myself, and and buying into the, the scheme and the things that Wings want me to do. Um, it, but, it is a defense that I guess a corner can make a name for himself. I mean, it kind of feels like if you're on an island and you're shutting down that island, you're going to get a lot of attention. Is this a defense that makes names for corners? Uh, it puts you in position to make plays, and it's all on you if you're going to make them or not. And so um, they give you opportunity, and it's about you uh, capitalizing on them. So you know, I'm just thankful to be in the position that I'm in. Can you sense extra level of excitement game week being here? Obviously, a lot of optimism always. Um. I mean, it's week one, so I would say it's always a little bit more uh, excitement because it's finally going to get somebody for real. You know, preseason game, you're going against people, but actually being out there for four quarters, um, battling against somebody else, and all the hard work you put in through camp is finally over. People that's here on the 53, and uh, the guys on the practice squad putting in that work to get you ready so we can have a uh, week by week uh, trying to get better and win. You said you don't have any hard feelings towards the Titans. I'm wondering what was last year like for you as you're playing well, but you're on a losing a team that goes four and thirteen, and your old buddies get the number one seed in the AFC. What was that? Was there any part of like, wow, what could have been? No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I was uh, I was shocked that when they lost um to the Bengals. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm mean, obviously because I, I know those guys. I've been with those guys. Guys that I know probably for 
I was in four years. So I always want to root for the guys that I know and see them do well. So, yeah, like I said, never any hard feelings at all. So, um, and you wanted them to win the Super Bowl, basically. Uh, I mean, I know players on the team. So we ain't in it. I know them. They're not in the NFC, they're in the AFC, so they can go ahead and do their thing if they yeah. wanted to. Do. I'm saying once the playoffs. <laughs> no, no, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see them do well just because I've been on them guys for like four years. What do you recall about playing against Ryan Tannehill? Uh, man, he's a, a great player. You know, he got some dog in him. He can he run the ball, throw the ball, very smart, um, accurate with his passing. Um, just an overall, I feel like, a good quarterback in this league.